freaking Stokey's poop. Freaking just poop out on the window. Where's it going? I think that's 40,000. That's a pretty good feed. Darn eagle, just pushing them around. See that? Mm -hmm. And they're still pouring in. You know, saying about this, I think the corn is just a tad taller than usually is. Maybe just a little bit. Right here, or between here. Say something. Say something. Make a point. Make something. Give me the camera. You talk. <laughs> Well, spring snow goose season is officially starting today. Uh, the other day I went Canada goose hunting and I saw some snows flying, not many, maybe like a hundred. But uh, we're out here in what we like to call, or what I like to call, the killing field. Uh, some of the best hunts we've had the past few years has been out of this field. So we pulled everything out here with the four wheeler and the sled because there are some muddy spots in this field because we've got it. We've had about two inches of snow and it melted off. And we've got this warm spell coming in, and we're just getting prepared because every time we think we know they're going to fly, they always end up either flying earlier or later. So we're just trying to get prepared and be ready for them and hope for the best. So we're going to go ahead and try to get what we can set today, and then, yeah, we'll be shooting geese here before you know it.
work that hard. Well, this season has just been, it's been all over the place for us. This season, it's, seems like everything was against us, the weather, guns, you name it. No, you definitely, I ain't put my coat on yet. Don't worry about your choke tube. Never start. Jake got his first snow goose. <laughs> Got no sun picking stuff out, that's what they're doing. The plug. What's this plug <laughs> from? They shot him a little close. This is the one that I lost. Uh, is that your 870 plug? I don't know. I think it is. My Look at his freaking belly. <laughs> Man. What? Three and a half number two. <laughs> don't Rossi.
first things we like to do when we're setting our layout blinds is rake out where they're gonna lay and try to knock down any clumps or hard spots that your back's gonna be on because that can make for a miserable day. So we always like to rake out the spot where our blinds are gonna be, use that material to brush our blinds in and, uh, and then go from there. Just thought I'd share that with you. If, if you guys use layout blinds, it's just a way to do it. Um, if you're running A-frames, you're sweat setting in white, so I wouldn't even worry about it. So that's what we do. I got really good video of them. Did you? I had to wring this one's neck, but you know, somebody smoked his wing. Oh yeah. He was out there. We had, I guess if they would have lit. I mean, we had them up there locked up. Both of them was coming. My side. Get over us, we're gonna kill him, all right? Get him. Damn, my gun jammed. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah, we only killed one, but guess what? Oh, the bunch come back. You wanna try him or what? Okay. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> you dropped that sucker, dude. <laughs> there, that was long. That was a long shot. Hold that thing up there. That's a good one. Big old dog. That's why they weren't knocking down. No beans. No beans. I thought I did see one. I was, I was like, man, that left one looks like he's got something on his leg. Nope. You got wings. You got a. <laughs> Yeah, I see him. Get ready. 
get, get ready. Want to get him? Shut him. Dude, that's what I'm using my GoPro on. Yeah. Well, snow goose hunting uh, is something that is not for the faint of heart, and we proved that this year, time after time. Uh, we went into the season with high expectations because down south they're reporting really good hunting. Big numbers are being killed, and everybody was saying, oh, juvie numbers like 2018, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, because 2018, we we smacked them pretty good that year and out of the field that we're in this year i'm like okay the field the good field this year's corn uh, all we need is the weather well we had good weather to start off and we got this decoys and everything set up just waiting on them and uh, me and white hunted one day we we got here the very first front edge adults and we killed one pretty bluebell or uh, uh, one pretty interfaced blue goose real pretty white belly on him and then the next day we went out and we we had a really good hunt unfortunately i was having some gun issues um well actually it was shells the shells i had i don't know what was going on with them i had them there were some that would fire and some that wouldn't and it was just you know i guess it was just a string of bad luck there but so then after that we're thinking okay we had one really good day on the fr front edge birds this ought to be a good season well then the weather the weather card played and it wasn't on our side uh, we had we had days of north winds and then that night the wind would switch out of the south and the birds would migrate all night long and we're like oh my gosh we're out we're missing it well we get us we then we after that we start having west winds so then we're facing into the sun of, in the mornings and the birds would work but they were just kept it when the sun's beating down on you they can just pick things out and and then we'd end up having an east wind so then in the evenings the same deal we'd be facing into the sun and it'd be even tougher on us we very rarely had south winds this season and to hunt this field with any kind of success and the birds to work like you want them to, you gotta have a south wind. And if you're a snow goose hunter, you know south winds, sunshine, and warm temperatures is the medicine to kill snow geese consistently. And we just didn't have it. We'd either have one or the other. We'd have sun or it'd be cold and we'd be dealing with frost and no wind. Uh, there was one morning we dealt with that. Um, or we'd have consistent north winds we'd try to hunt the birds weren't really flying real well and they really didn't want to look very well this year we dealt with a lot of birds just flying over us for some reason and don't really know why um, but that's snow goose hunting uh, the longer you do this you're gonna you're gonna fail more than you are gonna have any kind of success and to tell you the, the truth this season's been it hasn't been our worst season but it hasn't been our best season by far i mean it's I don't know how many birds we killed this year, but it wasn't very many. And uh, but here we are, we're getting the tail end of the migration, and it slowed up pretty. It slowed up pretty good. I mean, we only seen five or six bunches this morning, and they pretty much had their mindset of where they were going. But then yesterday evening, I mean, we had birds just coming in on us. I mean, you couldn't ask for a de geese decoy any better. But I mean, it's just snow goose hunting is just not fun a majority of the time but you do get times where you're like oh my gosh you know i've got this figured out this is awesome and then you'll go right back out doing the same technique you're doing and it won't work and for some reason you're just scratching your head and uh you're beating yourself up trying to figure out what the heck am i doing wrong when in reality that's just snow geese uh like the title of this video 
the reality of snow goose hunting. You get on social media, you get on YouTube, and you look up videos of these guys going out there, big spins, big rainouts, lots of geese getting killed. And let me tell you, that, that can happen, but the stars basically have to align in your favor for that to happen. I mean, there's been years, there's, we've went seasons without big tornadoes of geese. And we've went seasons where we killed 15 birds and we were happy. I mean, and this, and to be frankly honest, it's been one of those seasons where you, you, we killed 15 and we're like, man, we're having a good day. But it's just, I don't know, it's not, this season just hasn't been all that great. It's been really disappointing just because of the hype that was around it. And there's some guys that did really well, really not too far from here. It was just, just our luck this year, just well, the luck wasn't on our side, but with snow goose hunting, you just gotta keep after it, keep going. Um, I know it can make you feel like you just wanna pick up all your stuff and go sell it and just be done, but you just never know when the geese are just gonna wanna decoy on you and do it right. And uh, just, we had a dud season and we just keep looking forward to next season and hopefully that uh, it'll be better. I mean, that's all you can do is just pray to God that he'll bless you with something because <laughs> that's basically all you can do with snow geese. I mean, they're very unpredictable. They're very, very, t I mean, you hear it all the time. The cliche, the one of the hardest waterfowl in the world to decoy and hunt, you know, to kill consistently, and they are. And uh, that was a testament to this season. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would, share the video and then like the video and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Hopefully next year we'll turn around in our favor and we'll have a good video for you guys next year.